Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. In this demonstration, I'd like to talk about how Excel handles sorting, and particularly sorting of lists. Now, I'm sure you're aware that uh, there are some predefined lists in Excel. For example, uh, for the months of the year, if I click on the short months January and auto fill down, then every time I drag through a cell, I automatically fill with the next month. That's all I did here in this particular column. And the reason that I can do that can be seen in the File, Options, Advanced tab, scroll down to near the bottom, where you'll see a button, Edit Custom Lists, and there are the predefined lists for um, the days of the week and the months of the year. I could also add my uh, own lists if I wanted by clicking over here. This is one way to do it. Uh, typing in um, uh, the information like names or colours, whatever it might be, and uh, adding that, those particular list entries to the custom lists. But we'll do that another day. So there I can see the predefined items that have already been set up in Excel by Microsoft. Now, cancel that one again. Now, let's say here, and I'm just going to delete those ones so there we don't need these anymore. Let's say that I wanted to sort by the sales. Here I have various months with the, uh, uh, the colours of items which were sold in various months, and I want to sort by the, uh, in, in we'll say ascending order, the sales. So when I click on that cell and go to the data tab, and I want to sort from highest to low, uh, from smallest to largest, then that is what it has done. And it is automatically uh, taking care of the data in the uh, uh, commensurate rows. Highest to lowest, there. Now what I want to do is go back here and put the months back in the same order that they started. So you would imagine that if I click lowest to highest, well the problem is that that sorts alphabetically in, uh, in, in order. Again, so what I've got to do, if I want to sort January, February, March, etc., is to sort on a list. And the way I do that is to click on the sort button and sort by month, sort on the values, but the order I want to use from a custom list. And the custom list is that one. So now when I click OK and OK again, I now see that I'm back where I started in terms of the months themselves. So there's a little, uh, a little tip for sorting and uh, where you can uh, also where you can see uh, where the lists actually reside. Remember they're in file options in the advanced tab down near the bottom. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you found this uh, of use. Uh, it, it certainly uh, can overcome some frustration when you need to sort by lists.